That's where it all began. My family was in danger. Time was running out. In my desperation, I cut my foot. I shot the guy who was with me to save my family. You have to die. No, I want to live! I want to live! sorry, my family. I was losing so much blood. It looked like I wouldn't make it out alive. Suddenly, I found a hot pipe. I was able to cauterize my wound. However, I fainted. Luckily, someone saved me. Congratulations, Dr. Gordon. It was my patient, John Kramer. He healed my wounds. Then we talked. John would like to rehabilitate people and fix the corrupt system that lets criminals go free. Since then, I was grateful and decided to help with his work. He is Michael Marx, a guy who needs to be healed. Today you will learn how to save a life, Doctor. Look at these people. Today they will witness an act of love and trust. Then they will realize that the girl is a manipulator who only thinks of herself. I had a candidate for the new game. Jeff's wife, Dr. Lynn Denlin. Her family was falling apart after the loss of her son, leaving their daughter in neglect. She'll be perfect. The news announced John's death and the detective's survival story. My suspicions were aroused in him because John never makes mistakes. So, I sent him a letter warning him who he is. In my office, I found an envelope. The envelope contained John's gratitude for my participation and the last request. That having been said, I have a request. Watch over Jill. And should anything happen to her, I want you to act immediately on my behalf. The detective made the biggest mistake of his life, killing John's wife. I convinced Brad and Ryan to help me catch the copycat, put an end to the jigsaw cycle. It was time to reveal my identity, to prove that John was always one step ahead of any situation. What the fuck? Now the detective would spend the rest of his life in a dungeon, the place where it all began. John wanted to show that survival is a reawaking factor, a reminder that we are just meat unless we elevate ourselves by our actions. Now chained with no way to escape, but the detective saw a way to escape. However, I took that freedom away from him because he didn't learn his lesson. Now he must spend the rest of his life there. I don't think so. You cannot cheat your way out of this one. Without you, my work over the last few years would not have been possible. What do you think you're doing? What the fuck do you think you're doing? Huh? Now this is your end. Mark Hoffman. No! Your game is over. You can't fucking do this to me! Fuck you! No! Game over.